Okay, I'm back at it. Welcome back. I have to actually get up to speed with my last comments or whatever. I was interrupted a few times. Thank you, peoples. And, you know, real-life humans in front of me take the priority before doing my YouTube videos. Just the way it is. You know what I mean? I'll deal with you virtual people sooner or later. But real people in front of my face, I gotta deal with. So... Anyway, let me bring this up here, now that I mentioned this here. Um, speaking about the previous video about the MGTOW relationship, shit like that, putting the Native American thing on pause for a second here. This is, I'm backtracking to another video, and I may edit this, but uh, do realize, people, that relationships are a lot of work. Relationships can, usually should, and are a lot of work and if you're not willing to do that work involved if you're not willing to put in any kind of commitment of time effort energy money resources love whatever the fuck you do best you know what i mean then it ain't gonna work and likewise with your girl they might see things differently <laughs> they might feel like they're owed the world or whatever and uh, if you're in a relationship or whatever with somebody like this then you're fucked basically there's no way to win that you know because eventually you are either going to die or run out of resources or both who knows but i mean some people are just insatiable they don't know what the fuck they really want and they're addicted to being addicted <laughs> to I don't know, just like using people. You know, if people if people had to flip the script and all I always say to myself, would I here's a here's a here's a philosophical question. Would I put myself in the position of all the other girls on the wall is something that people ask me all the time. And my answer is yes. I'm not camera shy. I'll do this, that, and whatever. I won't ask anybody to do something that I won't do myself personally. And that's the way it is. I don't have that kind of pride or ego about things. So yeah. Exactly. If I was a girl, I'd be a porn star. Why the fuck not? Whatever. Don't judge. So anyway, that's all that I'm saying, though, man. Like, um, relationships and even friendships are a lot of work. They can be. It should be mutually beneficial in most respects or whatever, in my opinion, though. Whenever shit gets unbalanced or... You know, there's some huge power divide or something. There's no even exchange going on or equitable exchange i mean shit gets hairy or whatever that's when people start feeling like they're being used and abused and exploited and they catch feelings and anger and frustration and all then the, the result is all this other shit on the internet people subdividing themselves up into groups saying these people are bad this is bad it's all someone else's influence i don't know the answer to these things and i really don't want to deal with these kind of problems anymore but i do realize that relationships are a lot of work and a lot of the fact of the matter is the truth a lot of people are just simply not ready for relationships because they don't got a good relationship with themselves they can't take care of themselves yet they want somebody else to step in and take care of them for them not so not only does this one person possibly you usually if you the guy you know what i'm saying not only do you have to have a hundred percent of your shit together and you can't never get sick and never go broke never fuck up you got to be a perfect motherfucking statue right in many girls eyes or whatever and handle you got to be at a hundred percent all the time with the factory warranty don't break down etc or she probably don't want your ass <laughs> not for the long term at least <laughs> you know so you once you once you've got your shit 100 percent handled now you got to go catch up her slack and help her out or in general that's the uh the notion that that's been pitched towards me you know it's like a lot of times you might have imagine being in a relationship with somebody and they pretend like they can't walk no more you know what I'm saying? Well, okay, you gotta just, we're married, but you gotta carry me for the next 40, 50 years, physically drag me everywhere. You know, who would sign up for that? Some people have, and some people will, some people do. But I mean, it's like, my question is, what are your limitations? What's your limit? I should say, of how much are you willing to put up with? How much, how much money loss are you able to put up with? How much health loss? How much weight gain? How much sanity? How much? How many losses do you have to take before you realize that this is going to be an ongoing slippery slope style drop-off cliff? I don't know. 
some people are hard headed. Some people want to wait till they hit the bottom, till they so that at least they feel like. And this was me in my case actually. I want to keep trying and trying and trying and hacking away. I never really give up easily on shit. You know, that's why I'm sometimes susceptible to scams and shit because I like for shit to ride out and see how things play out in the long term, etc. But a lot of times you realize patterns do repeat themselves and habits repeat themselves and systems repeat themselves and in general people don't change. So, you know, notice the trend. The trend is your friend or whatever. <laughs> you know, it, anyway, I am sidetracking and divulging from the main topic at hand. But anyway, that's what I wanted to throw in there. My last two cents about the whole MGTOW thing or whatever from previous replies or comments or whatever man yeah relationships are a lot of work they can be very rewarding though that's why people never really you know they're not on the upside of things they're always looking at the negative but um relationships can reward your life in immeasurable ways they can also make you suffer in immeasurable ways it is what it is, and they can do both at the same time. But I'm just saying, whether you, whether or not you choose to experience those things in your life is totally up to you. But since I'm alive on this planet and I'm a monkey that roams the earth, etc., this is normal human behavior, so I'll continue participating in and out of this little game of social whatever. Since humans are social creatures, we're not meant to be alone in rooms, in boxes, in the back of an Asian restaurant, talking, doing YouTube shows to a camera so people on the other side of the world can judge us. This is very unnatural, and I think it's very weird. <laughs> So I'm going to end the show on this note here and just go back to replying to comments to people who I don't fucking know. But thank you for watching. OK, so let me go and pull up the comments here. Pause. Thank you for watching. One moment.